And now on to Pakistan. Did you know that the country has a robust homemade cable car system? It was born out of necessity to reduce travel times in the hilly regions. These cable cars are often made of scrap metal. No one talks about the system. But yesterday, it was all over the headlines, all over the world. Eight people, including six children, were trapped in a cable car after its rope snapped. What was a daily ride to school turned into a life and death situation for these kids. They were left dangling over a ravine. Their lives hanging in balance, waiting to be rescued. When we were tracking the story yesterday, it wasn't clear which way it would go. But we're happy to tell you that all eight people are now safe. It was a dramatic rescue, to say the least. Our next report brings you all the details. It started out as a normal day in Buttergram, a city in Pakistan's Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province. These children were on their way to school. They were accompanied by two adults. They took the cable car. It was meant to be a short gondola trip, but soon turned into a life or death scenario. The cable car they were using was homemade. It's known by locals as the dolly. It's used widely in Pakistan's hilly regions. This one was traveling between the villages of Batangi and Jhangri. It's a distance of four hours by road. But on the cable car, it's just a matter of minutes. When the cable suddenly snapped, the dolly was making its fifth trip of the day. The group was left hanging in the air, dangling 900 feet over a ravine. With little to do, the children huddled together. Some drifted in and out of consciousness. They were crying for help, but this was in the middle of nowhere. Soon, residents alerted the authorities. They used the mosque loudspeakers. Hundreds gathered on both sides of the ravine. Even then, it took four hours for the first helicopter to reach. But the difficult part had just begun. The helicopters were battling strong winds. Plus, they had to make sure the blades were nowhere near the cable. They made many attempts to reach them, but nothing worked out. After hours, they were able to rescue one person but the others remained stuck. The military became helpless because the people inside the chairlift refused to be harnessed. They tried very hard to convince them for almost an hour. They had stopped the helicopter over the chairlift and were throwing ropes down to the stranded people, but those people refused to comply. One man tied himself up and he was rescued, but the others refused. So there was nothing they could do. As night fell, the weather worsened, so the mission was cancelled. The helicopters were sent back. Children were still there. Their families were crying for their safety. Emotions were running high and time was running out. So the officials debated another option, zip lining to the cable car. The helicopters were coming and going, but they did not give us permission to make an effort at saving the kids. However, when evening set in, they said you can go ahead. They had rescued one child, seven were still stranded. We started our operation and thank God we rescued all seven of them. By the grace of Allah, all of them are fine. All eight of them have now been rescued. The successful mission reverberated across Pakistan. The country's caretaker prime minister praised the operation. But the incident has raised questions about the safety of these cable cars. They're very common in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Travelling from one place to another is usually difficult here because of the bad terrain. So these gondolas help save time. Affordability also makes them very popular. A one-way ride usually costs 10 Pakistani rupees, not even half a dollar. The biggest casualty of these low-cost rides is safety. These cable cars are usually made of scrap metal or discarded vans. They're built by the locals often illegally. 
That doesn't exactly make them very safe. They lack proper maintenance. This isn't the first incident. There have been several others in the past. In December last year, 12 children were rescued from another cable car. That incident too took place in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Police say they check the lifts every month. But then how does a ride to your school become a matter of life and death repeatedly?